Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Eudaimonia by Dreadbooks. So Eudaimonia is the fourth Dreadbooks module that I'm featuring in one of my videos, and it's also the fourth of the Chromatic series I'm well I'm covering. So what's very special about the well Chromatic series in general is that it well, they typically are very multifunctional uh, modules, and the Eudaimonia is not different there uh, whatsoever. So you can use the Eudaimonia as a filter, as a mixer, as a VCA, but it does have some very interesting quirks. So I do have to talk a bit more about the uh, the name, of course. Well, Dreadbooks being a uh, a Greek company, and I uh, studied well uh, ancient Greek for a couple of years when I was in high school. Um, so eudaimonia essentially means, um, well, you being good and demon, well, there you have it, spirit of sorts. And so this is essentially that that feeling, that spirit of well-being um, and that overall connectedness to it. So this is actually, well, it describes a feeling of happiness or welfare. So I do have to uh, well figure out if that covers this module uh, enough. Uh, but before we do that, let's just dive into the actual video um, and um, make sure that we all thank Dreadbooks for making this video possible. Uh, but for now, we'd say, well, um, here we go. So here we have Eudaimonia by Dreadbooks. And as the rest of the Chromatic series, the Eudaimonia is also a multifunction module. Um, so this can be used as a filter, a mixer, and a VCA. So if you then combine this with a VCO, an oscillator uh, indeed, and a well something that's capable of generating an envelope, you already have something that resembles a full voice. And if you then throw the mixing capabilities in, uh, in there too, well, you have a very interesting setup altogether. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to quickly go over the well the layout, talk a bit about the uh, the actual features there, and uh, later on we're gonna dive in, make sure that we touch upon the actual features, uh, let everyone listen to what the filter sounds like, um, how we can actually use this as a mixer, how you can then apply that, and we're gonna of course uh, finish uh, with a with a nice patch. At least I hope you guys find it a nice patch as well. So. Let's just uh, run through this very quickly. Um, so you've got your low pass filter, your high pass filter, your resonance. Keep in mind that the resonance will only impact your low pass filter. And you've got your VCA, well, offset. So those are the, uh, the four, well, the four sliders that you've got. And these are then combined with four inputs. So three are the mixer inputs. So where you just throw in your uh, the sounds that you want to mix together that will have their own well pods right beneath it and that will then of course be passed into the the filters and the VCA. You also have a CV input there for the cutoff frequency for the low pass filter, which you can then of course attenuate. But this also has a one volt per octave in, so you can indeed use this and I already know this for a fact, that this does self oscillate. So you can indeed use this as a standalone oscillator on its own. Um, keep in mind, of course, that the high pass filter doesn't self oscillate, uh, but that goes without saying. And then you've got the CV in for the high pass uh, cutoff filter. You've got your VCA CV in, and of course you've got your output. And I, I do need to uh, tell this, it's a single output. So anything that you throw in will of course be mixed, will be passed through the uh, low pass, high pass filter and through the VCA. So first things first, let's dive into the actual uh, filters. I do want to show how you can then use that to uh, shape your sounds. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna grab a triangle wave from the owner. So there we go. As you can see, this is a nice and sharp and very uh, pronounced uh, triangle wave. And that's one of the reasons why I love to use the ONA for this. 
and let's just throw this into the first mixer input. I'm gonna open that up all the way and let's just make sure that we are not, yeah, so that, that will help. And make sure that we are then patching this into the output, there we go. And of course, right now we're not hearing anything because of course we do need to open up the, the sounds there, there you go. So we need to open up the low pass filter, we need to open up the high pass filter, and as we don't have any uh, uh, CV in for VCA, we do need to open the VCA itself. And you already see that this doesn't really add any sort of coloring while the filters are open to the, well, uh, to the actual wave shape, so that's always good. But if we then just lower the low pass filter gradually, you'll see that this then starts eating away the higher frequencies and the wave shape itself will start to look like more of a single sine wave. And that's of course because all of the other uh, harmonics are of course collapsing. There you go. So then if we then add a bit of resonance to it, you'll start to hear that resonance already working its magic. Let's add a bit more resonance. And you'll already start to hear that self-resonating quality of this filter. And if we then turn it all the way up. So let's... Uh, Close this off again. I'm just gonna remove the um, the inputs there, so you, we can all listen to how this filter sounds like when it's self oscillating. That's of course great. Um, so what we'll uh, do later on is I'm actually going to use this as an oscillator going forward uh, But I just wanted to let you uh, hear that so let's open up the uh, low pass filter and let's play around with the high pass filter So this has a very sharp quality to it which is of course exactly what we wanted, of course. And I think that this adds a lot of the, well, of what's needed from a high pass filter where you want to have that more pronounced presence of the, your higher frequencies. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm just gonna patch in a melody from the, uh, from the Hermit. Let me just make sure that we can all see that. So I'm just gonna patch it into the Ona first. There you go. Uh, let's start and play that. And let me just play with the filters a bit. So let's first start with the low pass filter. Add a bit of resonance. A bit of the high pass. Bit of both. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna disconnect the inputs and I'm just gonna grab the full proactive signal and patch that directly into Eudaimonia and open up the resonance. And you can of course also do that with this CVN, uh, but then you need to play with the uh, attenuator a bit to get the right, uh, <laughs> the right scale, of course.
but still it's a fun thing to play with right um, so that's one of the applications of this module to use it as a filter of course there's much more to uh, discover on this from just a filter point of view uh, but let's dive into some of the other applications as well so what I want to do now is I actually just want to uh, keep using the ORNA so right now I've got the owner and I'm just going to select the pulse output of the owner so there you go and then just open up the low pass filter again so as you can see I've got a pretty nice pulse wave there and one of the beautiful things of the owner is that it also has two subs out so let me just uh, show you that so I'm just going to grab another output and I'm going to put that into the second mixer channel there you go open that up too and the other sub output which is going to be two octaves below so now we have everything mixed so let's uh, turn this one down this one down and that one down so now we have all three of them shut and we can just add the things that we want so let's start with the uh, the second sub which is of course two octaves below the normal one so this is going to be as you can see C2 and we're going to add a bit of C sharp there you go and we're going to add the or well, the root note there too there you go just gonna play with the owner a bit there you go so this is of course something that you can then use indeed to create more complex sounds with I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now and I'm just gonna connect the full proactive of the permits in there too So because we are now using the well the root note and its two subs, we already have a quite well full sound uh, that we can work with. Uh, but the next thing and the next application of the eudaimonia is of course to use it as a VCA. So let's turn that down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a taxia right here. And I'm going to use that to create an envelope. So I'm just going to trigger that straight from Hermit. There you go. And I'm going to patch that into the VCA CV of Eudaimonia. So as you can see, it's all the way down right now. So let's just add a bit of rise and a bit of fall there. Maybe add some delay. Well, and again, I think that this is something that you, you can already start to work with. So right now I'm using this to just have all of the signals from one uh, oscillator coming in. You can, of course, use this to uh, mix things like percussion. Uh, you can use this to mix your, your full track together. Uh, but if you do it like that, then you will likely well, lose the, the VCA capability uh, because then you would need to send the VCA signal, uh, CV signal, to open up the VCA for every bit of percussion or every note that you have, which is of course possible, uh, but might not be the best usage of this module. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a bit of percussion Let's maybe change the 
sound around a bit. do is we might want to make this a bit more pronounced so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the full proactive and I'm just gonna mold that so we can have that twice so we're gonna have it once go into the owner and we're gonna have that another time to patch it into the full proactive there And this is of course something that we need to play with. <laughs> it's just a beautiful thing you can do with Eudaimonia. Um, so, as I said, um, this will probably take a bit more time to truly dive into all features, uh, but I think that this is going to be a great introduction to a great module by Dreadbox. And I think that Eudaimonia is a very worthwhile addition to the Gromatic series and I think that you can't go wrong with this in your rack. So for now I would say uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let's go back to the studio and talk to you in a bit. Cheers. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video on Eudaimonia by Dreadbooks. I personally I've enjoyed making this video and I've had um, the Eudaimonia as well as some of the other Chromatic modules in my rack for, uh, for quite a while now. So I've come to know this well, this great module um, pretty well and it is on the one hand it is made to be combined with some of the other chromatic modules so my take on this is that even though I don't have hysteria here with me but I do imagine that if you've got hysteria you've got eudaimonia and you've got for instance uh, the ataxia uh, that you would have a well a full voice so you would have hysteria being your uh, your oscillator, your, your VCO, um, you would have this acting as your filter. You would then have, well, ataxia being your envelope generator. And again, you would have this one as your VCA. So that's combining into a full voice, if you ask me. So one of the other things I truly love about this is that this is not just meant as a dedicated one voice module. You can use this as a standalone filter, you can use it as a standalone mixer, and you can of course use it as a VCA as well. Um, and you can then combine some of these functionalities uh, together. And even if you're um, if you're lost for an oscillator, you can even use it as an oscillator because the, the low pass filter does indeed self oscillate as we've just shown. And well, I think that's just a great thing. So I would actually recommend Eudaimonia, of course, to Eurorack starters because it's a very affordable um, module like the rest of the Chromatic series, but even for seasoned and experienced uh, Eurorack veterans, this might still be that module that you're looking for. So if you are looking for a multifunctional uh, module for your performance rack or for your, um, uh, uh, your on-the-go case that you've got, or if you just truly want to add some color to your rack in general, this is the one for you too. So I do have to thank everyone again for, uh, for joining me for this video. Um, I do have to invite everyone for our weekly meetings with Eurorack makers, influencers, um, thought leaders that we've got on our Discord server. So I'll make sure to have the link down there below. And of course, everyone that does want to um, support this channel, easiest way is to use some of the uh, 
well the affiliate links below as well um, that being said for now I'm, I'm not going to keep you here that much longer please everyone stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you uh, for my next video take care cheers Thank you.